Hey, gang, let's talk about that middle class famous tour, baby. Hachi machi. Getting bigger and better, and it just keeps a rolling on, gang. Uh-huh. It's a live stand up comedy show. Plus, we play a little AYG with the crowd. As I always say, great way to introduce new people to the show. So grab the squad and come out and see us. Yeah, guys, in October, we're going to be in Nashville, and then we're headed up there to Indy. Woo. Then November, we're hitting Atlanta. Two Woo. shows added there. Then we're headed to Charlotte. We got Philly. Two sold-out shows there. I apologize. You snooze, you lose. Then December, we're hitting Providence and Boston. Those are currently sold out, but we're adding new shows. Stay tuned. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Hey, ye. Little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's got a big job interview tomorrow. Okay. Russian oligarch. <laughs> She's going out for <laughs> She said they're dropping like flies over there. Uh, you got me. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. Uh-huh. This is a family episode. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage, and he is my best pal in the whole wide world, and I love him. I don't care who knows it. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey there, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Mm-hmm. All video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. T-bone from the rafters. There we go. Oh, closing in on 100,000 over there. Let's get those up. Get the YouTubes up. Get some fucking comments over there on iTunes. What? Yeah. Okay. Show them how it's done. <laughs> All right. And then also... Cook, uh, cook, cook the charts a little bit. www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. You sign up over there. You get bonus episodes. You, guys, if you sign up now, you get like two years. You get like... 85 episodes of AYG and 85 episodes of fucking of uh what's the other thing we do? Hard feelings. Plus a the lot of money maker. Plus a lot of fun videos. Yeah, we got the crib videos, we got the limo grind, we got the camping, we got the mm-hmm. AC roulette, we got the shore video, mm-hmm. we got all that kind of shit down there. Check it out. And more coming down the pike. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer? Extraordinaire, the magic uh-huh. man, makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos, crosses the T's, dots the I's, starting to run the show a little bit, too, on the road. And I got to tell you, I like it. Mm-hmm. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, dudes? What up, T-Bone? Woo. Yeah, I got my hard hat, my clipboard out there. Straightening a lot of people out on the road. Sacking I like it. out there, Sur- yeah. Surveying the job site. Yeah. Keep yeah. people in line. All I got to do is order the mozzarella sticks. <laughs> T-Bone's got everything covered. I love like it. A um, couple of things. Two treat things. I wanted to throw this at you. Okay. You're not going to like it, so don't get caught up in the fatness of it, okay? Um, I didn't indulge, but I tried them, and I just want to say... <laughs> Deep fried underwear. <laughs> Literally the definition of indulging. Yeah. I had a couple two treat. So hers, which might be a local... Brand toward- it is a, it's a region. I think it is a regional. It might, right. or it's at least from our area. It okay. might be like a national thing, but it is. So this Philly brand called Hers, H E R R, make hers yours. Yes, has a kettle cook chip. Are you a fan of the kettle cook chip? I like a nice kettle cook. Chip. That's really what we. Sh- that should just be the regular chip. Yeah, it's that- ruined a regular chip. Unless a ruffle. I need some kind of texture over here. Here's the thing. Kettle cooked ruffles. No, I'm kettle cooked lattice cut. They're like they're like uh, waffle fries. Yeah, but they're real. Woo! Man, oh yeah. man! You ever, think, you ever think you live to see the day, dude? Kettle cooked lattice chips, dude. I tell you, if we landed on Pluto tomorrow, I'd be like, ah, this yeah makes all make sense. Better bring a bag of chips. What are you gonna <laughs> eat? It's a long, it's a long ride out there, Daddy. Ma- Toby, it's the ultimate chip. I'm sure other regional distributors and manufacturers make this lattice cut kettle cooked chips. Do yourself a favor. Do your, do your country a favor. I'm not. I'm not trying to poke holes in your holy chip here. But how is it as a dipper, dude? It seems like it wouldn't have the the strength to withstand a French onion dip, buddy. It's got holes in it, buddy. You could put a pool on this thing. I'm telling you right now, it'll hold. 
It'll hold. You can you can do the earthquake test on it. This thing's solid. <laughs> you like them because they're aerodynamic, so you get them in your fa- face faster. I'm telling you, dude, they're <laughs> no wind resistance. That's what it's like a tennis racket. That's really what it's like. It's like a tight tennis, but kettle cook. They should all be doing kettle cooked. It's kettle cooked sports equipment. That's where you're at now. <laughs> that's the level of fatness you reached. <laughs> Let me get a three softballs deep fried. But and- why aren't Pringles kettle cooked? I don't know. But dude, you don't. They don't need to be kettle cooked. They, but they could. Um, you don't need to go to graduate school, but you're going to get a, a better job with better pay if you do it. Sure. Uh, speaking of uh, <laughs> trash, typically we start off with something trashy. You just came up with stuff you eat. Uh, <laughs> They're really good, dude. I was at uh, uh, I was down in Philly, and uh, I was uh, coming home, and I wanted to get myself a nice sizzly while I was down there, which is the Wawa breakfast sandwich before I blew out of town. Yeah. Um, they're not good. They're fu- They're like they're not. They're fine, but I just you grew up with them. It's like a you know, it's like a little taste of home. They're okay. I would disagree on the. I I I'm saying I like them, but they're not like if somebody from out of state tried to do, or like that's never had one, they'd be like, "This is a thing." Like, it's hmm. more. I don't think it's like. I mean, it's a pre-made microwave sandwich that's sitting under a heat lamp. It's not going to be when you put it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like the fucking <laughs> creme de la creme we're talking. Glad about. you're not working for the marketing department. Over <laughs> I mean, there it's not even fresh made. It's been sitting there eight hours, which makes it even better sometimes. Yeah, it does. Well, whatever. But the uh, the Wawa's in the city are a little dicey. There's a lot of like I don't trust. Them. I want to. I want a nice, clean suburban Wawa. Go out to the burbs. So. I'm headed home. I'm going through Jersey. I see big super Wawa with the gas station, a whole nine yards. I pull in there. Dude, this thing looked like downtown Beirut. It was fucking crazy in there, dude. There, was, It just made me sad, dude. There was a girl going through, going, standing in front of the Sizzlies. There was three left, and she gets up there. She's opening the boxes. What? And, look, and inspecting the sandwiches. Before she takes them. That's crazy. Then she took two. And I was like, I'm fucking, I'm not touching those things. That's crazy. Crazy. I would have reported her. So it was her and another girl. And they got to do their gathering. Fuck. This Are is these dirt ball chicks? Like, like r- real dirt bag chicks. Okay. Like dirty sweat, dirty uh, pajama pants on. Oh. All larger than life, very like they're, and they're. Were they wearing big puffy DC shoes? <laughs> no, but very in that world. Their knees were touching and the legs are going out. You know that? Yeah. You know that look? Real real messy. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the knees were backwards or mm-hmm. something, you know? It's a bad look. Was your dad a grasshopper? What's <laughs> yeah. going on? Clean your, clean your act up, lady. You legally can't kill her because she's a praying mantis. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky we're in Jersey right now. And I respect the law. The the dirty. Well, hold on, it gets worse, dude. So I, and every corner, so I, I go there. Now I'm mad. I'm like hungover, and I just want my sizzly. Now I can't get sizzlies. <laughs> you fat little bastard. Know, Kippy's upset. Well, also, we're living in a society here. This woman's finger in the goddamn bagels. I mean, that's, yeah, that's. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. The fabric of society is falling apart. So then they're buying all that shit that I've never bought that, like, it's it's all, like, new-aged canned drinks that are, like, all different colors. Oh, I thought you meant, like, those cow tails and stuff. <laughs> no, or, I had a buddy growing up. Or Chico Henry, sticks. And I thought they were really, like, cows. I didn't know what they were. Dude, those things. I was like, I'm not touching those things. Whatever but, that is, get out of here. Um, so they're buying all, like, it's like that, like, fucking, like, the Mountain Dew cans and the Monster can. They each have, like, seven drinks. And they're blocking me from getting my Wawa iced tea, which I, which I, uh, it's a local fanfare, you know? And it's all, like, just, like, everywhere I turn, they're just in my way. And just, so I'm like, these fucking broads. So I get a, I get a shorty. I get a sandwich over there, and I go outside. I, I eat my sandwich in my car, and I go, all right. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Dude. I'm driving out of the, I'm leaving the fucking parking lot. These two broads are eating under a tree next to the dumpster with like $80 worth of Wawa food. I'm like, where the fuck am I? It was a tough look, dude. The dirty pajama bottoms in public is. That's a real bit. I mean, I think that's a real dirtbag. That's a very dirtbag Philly thing, too. The dirty pajamas in pub stains on the shirt before <laughs> you leave out the house. It pairs well with the nice pink slipper Uh that's now blackened on the bottom. uh Well, you know where we really started to go downhill? Um, And Old Navy really has a lot to do with this. The fleece pullover really sank the ship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody 
That flooded. Talk about flooding the block. And also those things. They and hood, stunk. But hoodies too. Hoodies. When hoodies got popular, I would say. I, Wait, what do you mean when hoodies got popular? What do you mean? Fleece, like regular no, just hoodies in general. I've been, I mean, they've been popular for hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Hundreds of years. <laughs> yeah. They've always been. A hoodie's always been popular. I, I feel in the 90s they got real big. They've been kicking since 1930. A hoodie? Yeah. I think you're looking at the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the wrong website, dude. <laughs> That's no bueno. <laughs> Not a hoodie like we know it today. Yeah, the earliest clothing style was first introduced by Champion in the 1930s. In what? Champion was banging back then? Holy shit. Shout out to the champs. They've That's been... crazy. Damn. Why Why isn't that, like, why isn't that should be their motto? Like, we're the first hoodie. Yeah. Cool. Everybody else is doing what we're doing. Yeah. That's cool as cool shit since the 30s. Uh-huh. That's pretty sweet. The hoodie all the way back. Uh, but I'm just saying, as a kid. And we, you know, are you here, talking about the zip up, too? Either way. They, either is way. that a hoodie? Yeah. Because remember, that was the comedian's uniform for a little uh, while? The zip up. And we, were, we were right in uh, line yeah. with that. Well, it was also, they were like nine bucks at H&M. Yeah. Well, I think I got mine at old, old, old Neezy's. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're part of the problem, you know? <laughs> um, Not fleece, though. Never. I never wore fleece. But, uh, uh, then maybe this is just uh, my perspective. But as a kid, we didn't have hoodies. You had dorky crew neck and yeah, then, that's suck. what i'm saying so hoodies got bigger later okay like more popular more well because dude a hoodie they were more expensive and it was like you had a, a crew neck that's what you wore you wore a russell crew neck yeah the hoodies weren't they had those they had the it was a different kind of fabric on the side remember it would like stretch out mm -hmm. oh god um tough look on a fat kid yeah Yikes. but <laughs> so talk about nowhere to run that's what I'm saying. I think they Talk got about not being able to run. They got more popular, and then the second they got more popular, people stopped realized you didn't have to wash them every time. A crew neck you had to wash every day. You couldn't. A crew neck didn't really have. What's this got to do with the fleece epidemic? That because now every fleece, once people started getting those fleeces, they never wash them. Sure. That's so you look one. It's fucking corny, and two, it's dirty when you leave out the house mm -hmm. already. It's got the stains. It's got a little whatever, and people are like, think it's a jacket. It's not. It's an article of clothing. You gotta wash these goddamn things. Yeah, that's what I was getting. To. Yeah, yeah. Hoodies or the uh, fleece, man. It really all went south. Really when was did. the last time you got your winter coat cleaned? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't even. I don't know how else to phrase together words that'll make you understand that. What's your winter coat? That blue one that you have? Yeah. Um, I don't think I have a winter coat. I know you don't have a winter. Yeah, coat. I don't have a winter coat. <laughs> yeah. Can we change that? I had the Whistler, the Jay Whistler, Dude. but that was like that was like two X's ago. Yeah, but I never. I watched wish that. we could find the footage of the old podcast we did. He ordered a coat off Amazon called Jay Whistler. See if you can pull it up. A, a, a Whistler. Hey, good. Dude, he looked like George Costanza in the Gore Tex. It was like half tire. It was. <laughs> it was. Something, it was something else. It said Michelin on the back. Ah, it was good. Good coat. <laughs> Dude, it was huge. That and was you, when we had rough winters. You loved it. Yeah. You thought you were the coolest. And it fit for about a weekend. And Got you... tight quick. <laughs> Got tight quick. I remember after dinner one time in Boston. That was kind of it. Yeah, I got it. It looks like uh, every other winter coat. Yeah. <laughs> not as durable, though. <laughs> Need to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> it was not. The stitching's a little uh, less than me desired. And also, yours was like a big coat for a big guy. It was a... It was a it was a statement piece. Mammoth. You knew when that thing was on the block. You yeah. You feel that. Mm -hmm. I, think my, I think I got like a 3XL for, it was like $40 or something. I put it on. It was like 32 pounds. It was so heavy, dude. It was like mostly plastic. It was fucking, it was the heaviest thing I've ever seen in my life. It definitely wasn't goose down. <laughs> no. Probably pigeon or something like that. I don't even think it was animal, dude. Five pigeons in every coat. <laughs> Still they, didn't even, they didn't even pluck up yet. They just threw them in there. Yeah. <laughs> Bad news. Oh, uh, you stink. Bad news. But get, oh, sorry. I, I want to ask you one more. No, please. Okay. No, what, please what ask me one. I was going to transition into the fam. I was going to ask you. What are you going to ask? Um, tell me now. Tell me. I can't really get into the details of why I'm asking you this. Oh, God. But I was curious. Have you ever slept with a chair up against the door? You strike me as a person that might have done that. 
Uh, like the chair propped against the door so nobody can get in? I've definitely set booby traps in places I've slept to hear if someone... Co- I've definitely done the glass by the door recently. What? Yeah. In your home now? Uh-huh. Didn't I tell you the door was open? I told I told that story, I think, on like an old hard feelings or something. I I don't know if I had been drinking or something and... You woke up and the door was open. The door was open. Open I, or unlocked? Like... Open, not like wide open, but like not clicked, locked. And I was like, "Fuck that!" But it was like three in the morning, so I set up a system of bottles in case anybody came in. It would wake me up. Now had, I got Hansi. Had to crush a six pack to, um, to get the bottle. But yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I'm crazy. Okay, sure. Toby, uh, never the door. Uh, I have a window. I'll do as well. What are you putting on the window? Bottles. Okay. <laughs> I live in a recycling center. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely slept with a big knife next to me a couple, two, three times. Sure. Oh, I just, yeah. I mean, I, I do that now. Yeah, yeah. What I do you mean? I just did that when we were in the mountains. Come through my with way. Cat skills. I'll stick you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it'll be Cut our, you, boy. It'll be our little secret, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should you lay them down? I know right where the orders are. Yeah. But I apologize. Gang, this is a family episode. For we're what? Here. Huh? Why do you apologize? For uh, that sidebar of crazy. Okay. No, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can really wedge Sidebar. it up against the door. Of course. It works. Works really good. Yeah. I mean, it's it's based on working. Yeah. I couldn't I can, couldn't get in at all. Pretty good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Were you in my apartment on Tuesday night? <laughs> Gang, this is a family episode. As you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon there, uh-huh. could get a question read right on the air. It's the best way to do it. We got a little bit of a backlog, but we promise we're going to get to them. KJ doesn't lie, and you could take that to the bank. KJ lies, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not about this, but I do lie. Um... This one's, uh, I wasn't even at a Wawa today. <laughs> this one's from Mike. From, not to know that. I really thought I caught you in a lie the other day. But then I was like, you don't, you don't really lie. I don't. Because the anxiety, I used to lie. Not lie, but like, I mean, you lie in a wild way about things that don't matter. I'm lying right now. <laughs> I lie. I'll lie to, you know, it's what, what's self-preservation. You lie if when you're jammed up or whatever. But the anxiety of lying and keeping track, I'm 36 years old at this point. I'm fucking... I am what I am. You're getting me as is. I don't need to lie to impress anybody. I'll give you an example of my lying. I had those chips today on the way up, and I also had a sizzly. <laughs> is that supposed to be shocking? I know. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I'm just letting you know. Okay. <laughs> and I ate the whole bag. Sure. Was it a, like a party <laughs> bag? Like was no. it for a picnic? You mean for the 40% more, one of those, Johns? No. No, no. was that all? This is fat court territory, mm-hmm. but was that all you had... What else was purchased at the Wawa? Um, the weekend, there was a lot going on. No, no, just today. Just today? Yeah, you're like, I stopped at Wawa. What? You didn't just buy. Also, who buys potato chips and a, Brit and a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich? It was noon. And it was, the sizzlies are like two for five. It was noon. It was afternoon. Okay. It was brunch, basically. <laughs> Dirtbag brunch, a $2, br- a $2 pre-made bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, and a pack of chips. I got a Fiji bottle of water. Uh-huh. I got a bacon, egg, and cheese sizzly. The chips. The chips. A sausage, egg, and cheese sizzly. Because they're two, for, they're two for four or something like that. Yeah, they're they really are. moving the merchandise out. <laughs> you had two. Ba- I, I, I had two yesterday. I can't lie. And uh, those hangovers get you. And it's going to sound crazy. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it is for sure not going to sound crazy, dude. But they have egg rolls at Wawa now. And they're pretty awesome. I'm telling you right now. They're pretty, pretty good. Uh, and that was it. I had some gum, too. And that's it. I brushed my teeth. I had a coffee. Brush your teeth. I'm, I don't know. I was just telling you what I did. Oh. All right. So that was the purchase. The purchase. At Wawa. Yes. I would just steal. <laughs> a couple of cow towels. <laughs> Ugh, those things stink. Wait, when did you brush your teeth and where? I brushed my teeth in my mom's uh, kitchen sink, if you have to know. That's a bad look, dude. There was, tough look, yeah. There was a year, right? That I was, was getting screamed at I, at the I time. I would brush my teeth at the kitchen sink when I was sleeping on my boy's floor. Fucking, dude, spitting over a, a fucking pot of spaghetti <laughs> is a bad look, dude. <laughs> God you gotta damn. take everything out of the we sink. Were, no, not. I mean, if you're doing it once, but that, if that's how you're living, 
You know what I mean? You got you got bigger fish to fry than the dirty <laughs> dishes, all right? I'm fucking hemmed up nine different ways till If Tuesday. you're brushing your teeth in the, in the kitchen sink, you're late for work. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Mm-hmm. You're hemmed up tight. I wish. That was just honestly how I lived. My clothes were in the breakfast nook because they weren't using it. Remember that little room I had off the kitchen? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I remember. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to my fucking homies from day one. Huh? Started at the bottom, huh? <laughs> um, But I was going to say, yeah, you don't really lie. Now look at you. I th- for days. I thought I was. I, th- I, I thought well, there's no way I can prove it. I'll admit. I, I admit <clears> it. I thought you had lied to Luke and I that you had gone to the gym an hour earlier than we did. No. That I, day. I went. Okay. I think I ran two miles. Okay. That was a lie. It was a mile and a half. <laughs> I'm good, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Welcome to the club, man. Yeah, right. Buy some more. Go ahead. <laughs> I do all the time. <laughs> T-Bone, I love you, buddy. Is that a lie? Nothing on that. <laughs> I was, I was going to do the same joke to you. Damn it. <laughs> we're hacked. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're well fed. Gang, support for today's episode is brought to you by True Classic. True Classic. Which I would like to call... The greatest T-shirt company. That's of all, all I wear. Time. You're finally, you, you're finally getting on my board Listen, here, baby. I'll be honest with you. They sent us a couple. I had them in here for a couple of days. All right, I wasn't sure if they would fit me. I took them home. I took one out. I put it on. I don't think I'm ever wearing any other T-shirts ever again. I'm telling you guys. I know. I seen you out there at the meet and greets. We got a lot of bigger fellas. Feel great. They feel good. They're cutting the shoulders right. They cut around the. They, they, they hide the spare tire a little bit. It makes you look like a like a retired linebacker. Yeah. You feel all yoked They're up, all jacked up. Yeah. They're tightening the sleeves to the gray. Listen, here's the turkey. It's a top quality, comfort fitting T-shirt. It's the only one that I'm gonna wear moving forward. I'm telling you. Right now. Yes, guys. Uh, they're giving uh, Are You Garbage listeners the hookup, baby. Go to trueclassic.com with code GARBAGE. Uh, men's tees are designed to look good on skinny models. And that ain't us, baby. No. Two couple fat lard asses cooking yeah. around here. A couple of wide loons. Oh, yeah. Um, so here it is. Uh, it's time you learn to dress like a gentleman. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic. Get 25% off. 25% off. Jeez, people are crazy. Holy shit. Off TrueClassic.com. Everybody's with co- giving it away these days. Oh, one more time. Get 25% off TrueClassic.com with code GARBAGE. That's 25% off and free shipping over $100 with the code GARBAGE at TrueClassic.com. Get yourself looking like a doctor with True Classic. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let's, cut, let's get to the turkey here. All right, guys, it's a fam app. Yeah, so the is. big man said when you sign up for the Patreon, we'll answer your questions on air. Uh, this one's Mike from South Philly. Ever own a pogo stick? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have one. There was one floating around. I think my neighbors had it. It was an old one. It was like all metal. It was fucking old as shit. And you- I was too young to has any of that that might as well have been learning fucking Mandarin to me. And let me tell you something. You could be looking at seriously bodily injury. A pinch, a testicle, something. That those things are dangerous. Yeah, those things need constant WD forty to, to run to run clean. Mm-hmm. Didn't like them. Hated the pogo stick. However, I'm older than you boys. Forty six year old man. Sure. Child of the eighties. Let know. me tell you what hit like a tidal wave when I was banging third, fourth, fifth grade. The scooter. No, the pogo ball. The fuck is the pogo ball? There you go. The pogo ball. Oh, yeah, the basketball with the little with the rim around it. Yeah. It looks like Saturn. Yes, it does. I never got that. Because yeah, because they were all old and broken by the time I saw them too. Yeah. They were like left over from my cousins or something. Yeah, you were watching Degrassi or whatever the fuck you kids. How old what? I don't know. When was was that on? That was on like fucking three years ago. Nah, Drake was in it. Yeah. Three years ago? No, I was exaggerating. I was in College, I think, when that came out. Really? I think so, yeah. Huh. Shout out or to high Drake. school, maybe. I don't know. Pogo ball, you got it? I do. This thing fucking stinks. No, I'm yeah. telling you, man, they were they were you would you would have really dug it. They were they were really cool and they had cool colors. And dude, it was just one of those things that everybody had to have. And for some reason we were allowed to bring them to school. There was kids hopping around like fucking kangaroos through through, through school. <laughs> then they clamped down on it pretty hard. <clears throat> Well, it was big uh, early '90s. My sister had one. Was the Skip It? Yeah, Skip It. I remember. I remember yeah. them. I remember the kids having them. I yeah, didn't have one. Yeah, yeah. 
high school at the time. You're going down the hall. Skip it. Skip <laughs> anybody, anywhere. Yeah, there was something else that you guys had too, along these lines. Bop it. Bop. No, that's a game, right? Yeah. Which I would assume would give you a horrible panic attack. Bop it. Bop it. It's like counts down, twist it. Sing it. Benna. Benna. Oh, Benna. get the Benna. fuck out of here with that thing. That looks like a Klingon ray gun or something like that. <laughs> it's a baby toy. I thought that thing sucked. She ain't. We play, you know what we played? Fucking Simon. Whatever it was called. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. That used to give me anxiety. Everything gives you anxiety. I smashed a couple of those in my day. Yeah. I thought it was talking to me one night. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up, you fucking British bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't British. Yeah, Simon. Did he talk? He, I don't think that thing talked. Uh, was, it Simon, I, was it called Simon Says? Yeah, it was a Simon Says type game. Yeah, the colors. Yeah. I thought that was alien technology when I was. My buddy kid. had uh, these two things that uh, these two s- scooters left over from the 80s that had like the small bike, not the razor. I uh, dude, yes, the yes, small yes. bike tie, and it was like a skateboard. It was like a skateboard. They it was like a and they do big. They had like BMX handlebars on they it. They were the original scooters. Those he had two of them, and they were fucking sweet. Yeah, metal they were frames. awesome. Dude, I completely you forgot could pop about off them. curbs. You could do fucking every. And I remember asking my mom, like, I want, like, can I get one of these? And all the fucking scooters we could find were like the razors. With the no, wa- the with razors. The whack wheels. Th- that was that was a decade after. But yeah, they were wacky shit. But uh, were like toys. This was like a vehicle. This was like a mode of transportation. They were fucking little sweet. mini mag wheels with the plat- yeah. with the yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll get you fun. one, but we can only lease it. Yeah, you can only have it on every other weekend. <laughs> You don't have to go eight blocks a year. If you go over, it's 25 cents a block. I did tell you my step. Which, by the way, I'm cooking on the miles on Big Boy. I'm almost at 3,000. I picked it up in July. You only get 10 a year. You yeah, got to park really, it. They really bend you over. It's 25 cents a mile if you go over. Yeah, Gives a shit. Do that math. I think I'm going to live for three more years. <laughs> Good luck, suckers. <laughs> Good luck trying to pry me out of this goddamn car. Joke's on you, dirtbag. Um... I told you my stepdad built me a bike with a sidecar on it. Right? I had to have. I didn't tell you that? I yeah. vaguely maybe remember something. Yeah. A sidecar. So there were these things. Just always empty. There were, No, no. Yeah. Do we would fucking. If you have a sidecar, you have nobody to send it because you got no friends. I'm sitting and waiting for someone to drive it. Especially. <laughs> <laughs> I got a helmet on with a little scarf. Yeah, you can't do that on a bike. It's got to be on a motorcycle. Yeah, no. It's and I think you have to be- I mean, I'm 12 years old. There's nothing cooler than fucking that. I think it you have to be a Nazi to drive those, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Nazis were always getting fucked up in those. <laughs> Indiana was- Jones took out about 20 of those things. <laughs> ah! And they'd flip over. It was fucking sweet, dude. I'm telling you. Because my buddy came from California, and he had one. <laughs> but He, he no, wrote it if, the whole way, huh? If you Google, uh, they're called... Uh, Rob Deerdeck tried to like resell them. Like try to like they were big in California in the eighties. And it was called like the guy there was like teams of competitions. I found, I learned all of this after when I saw like he did it in like Sidecar magazine five or something. Yeah, sidecar. <laughs> sidecar quarterly. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I went when I when I went to the meetup, uh You're looking at the article about long. The guy flags? was called the guy in the thing was called a monkey. This is crazy. Right? Is it, did you find it? <laughs> yeah, you like you can't really sit. You kind of got to stand. I guess on that one, yes. Yeah. So, but the one my the one my buddy had, he got in like a bet, like somebody owed him two hundred bucks, and the guy's like, "Here, you can have this." So he showed up from California with this like fucking sidecar tank, and I was like, "Yo, that's fucking sweet." And you hook it up to your bicycle? Not hooked. It was welded. It was proper okay. connected. So I went. What did the bike look like? His bike, it was all just, it was just kind of like a random BMX bike. Okay. With like a fucking, like coming off the side, like to weld it to the back. So my stepdad's like a hardcore fucking mechanic, like race car builder fucking guy. So he was like, I was like, Brad, I was like, you got to fucking see this thing. Like, it's crazy. And he's like, I can do that. And I guess like he saw it as like a challenge. So he's like, yeah, I remember you telling me that. He fucking made it sweet. I was? Ooh, yeah. Who'd you zip around in it? There was with? a group. I mean, at, when you're like 12, everybody's riding out on fucking bikes in the burbs. Huh. You're in the woods. You find all, all bike jumps from the 80s. Well, you jump it Not with, on that. No. Yeah. 
That was that was like my Sunday cruising car. You know what I mean? I'd only take that out for a drive. Who would you take for a ride in it? I, I mean, we would fucking, you know, we would just like ride it into the fucking down like wild. You just do wild shit with it. It was like Jackass was fucking banging at the time. You were just, yeah, Pat, Flip, <laughs> everybody. Vinny with the skinny. I like it. It was a good time. Yeah. I just imagined you with a little teddy bear in the sidecar. <laughs> like, come on, Mr. Mittens, it's time to get red. I would like We're running away. <laughs> it had carpet in it. We were running away to start a restaurant in Seattle. <laughs> no, it was sweet. <laughs> Slept too. It was nice. <laughs> that mini fridge. Mm, pretty good. Um, all hey. right. Well, please. I was going to say pogo balls. That's where I was at. Shit's corny. It wasn't. It was cool. You would have dug it. If you were my age, you would have dug it. I'm telling you, I for sure not would have not done it. it. I'm taking shit from a guy in a sidecar. (laughs) Hey, you just You're jumping on a basketball going in in, in school. Like, that's real fucking cool. Yeah, Yeah, it was cool. We'd all hop around. A sidecar? Are you insane? I'm also not saying it was cool. You said it was cool multiple times. It is unique. That thing is fucking <laughs> stupid. Dude, you're hopping around. Well, who wants to hop it around? It is unique. Yeah, I'm so cruising with that, the homies. That's what you want to be in high school, unique. I wasn't in high school, you idiot. I was 11 or something. You fucking dork. I pogo balled up until the freshman year. <laughs> you're, you're, you're jumping to get your diploma. <laughs> Uh, Henry Foley <laughs> by the skin of his balls. <laughs> doing, doing, doing. <laughs> Man. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Uh, Did you ever do any of that shit? Did you guys do any hijinks when you got your diplomas? No, I hated that. Yeah. It was like class clowny stuff that, you know, I never was. Uh, I, I flex on our principal when I took mine, though. It's a pussy. No, you didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that was three sizzlies. <laughs> 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 Shout out to the Wawa egg roll, though. Oh, you're crazy. Mm. Also, uh, never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll do a Wawa hour another time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's from KJ the Ass Man. Having nice. a lion head or a full lion statue at the entrance of your driveway. Hmm. There, are, there is a couple in my area. Not even nice houses. Like just like it's got to be nice. Yeah, these these were just like random. There's like a random like split level house on Does the side. Does they have of the like road. the stone work at the end of the driveway though? Like a little like Maybe a little, a little bit, thing. but it's like not that looks nicer than the house. It's tacky to me. I don't know. It's real Russian mobster shit. Yeah, a little bit. You know. That and the columns. If you have columns at your front door sure. that are, they, but the house ain't t- in tight. Anything like To me that shit is like was all done like it's like supposed to be done in like Marble, like that's what it was. So yeah. it's like this is just like a bad representation of that to me. Yeah, it's you know a what tough I mean? look. It's like wearing a fake Rolex or whatever. No, I wouldn't mind. But then somebody was like, "It would suck if you got fucking robbed or mugged for a fake Rolex." I go, "Yeah, that kind of stinks too." Why? I'd be could be great. No, please don't take it. It's a, a forty thousand dollar watch. Yeah, give me a pussy, and then they run off and like it's eight bucks. Yeah, but you get fucking pistol whipped or something. Not necessarily. If you got to cough it up. But if you don't have a... Fi- just don't try to be a fucking hero. Don't be a hold tough on, guy. Hold on, hold on. You're not getting the point. The thing is, if I don't have any Rolex, mm-hmm. I'm not going to get mugged. If I'm walking around with a fake Rolex, people go, oh, I'm going to mug that guy for his Rolex. Hmm. So it's... I'm probably not going to get mugged without... I mean, you're probably not going to get mugged with it, but it was more of... It would suck to get mugged. Fucking gun pulled on you. Give me your Rolex. Yeah. It's, like, fake, it's fake, man. Yeah, that's what they all say. <laughs> Give me your sidecar, too. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your right of the street and your sidecar. Uh, all right. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lose the Lions. Yeah, unle- yeah, unless it's like Tough a- Tough look. Yeah, I don't know. It's so gaudy. That's like so new money. Like, it's- Unless it's like a fucking crazy mansion or something. I get that. Yeah. Or a villa or something. You know what's a- sweet is the lion with the thing in its mouth as a knocker. Ooh, I'll give you that. Yeah. That's all right. That's tight. Mm-hmm. We didn't have no knockers. We had a doorbell. Mm-mm. Not too shabby. That's nah, pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see here. Uh, this one's from Drew. First time, long time, $10 investor here. Which the homies are now calling themselves investor. I like and it. I like it. Got to have a board meeting pretty soon. 
Is it garbage to rearrange the pepperoni on a frozen pizza so it's more evenly spread out? Not at all. Pro move. Pro move. I do it to the point of autism. I'm like, I, I make sure it's like fucking. Got to. My OCD gets involved. And Got I'm like, to. I run the lines of, all right, if I'm going to cut here. I'm going to cut, especially on a collie pee. If you do the pepperoni, you really got to organize. And when you were a kid, you didn't think about that. You're like, ah, fuck. Never. But now if I do it and there's like a bunch of cheese in the bottom, the bat, I'll spread it around a little bit. I don't do that because it. Uh, I don't like that the fine cheese. That's like real. That tends to like break down and come to like a powder. Sure. Nah. Okay. I need to shred. Proper All right. Shred. That's just how I roll. That's okay. But yeah, classy move right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Redistributing. I mean, I'm also a fan of reorganizing the burger. Like, let's say you get something from McDonald's and it comes and it's like half slid off or whatever. Take a minute, stack it up the way you like it. Sure. Get everything proper uh-huh. before you dig into it. No. Oh. Um, all right, this one's from Matt. $10 longtime shareholder. Anybody in your family ever do Zumba? What's Zumba? Zumba would be like the modern Thai Bo or whatever. Zumba was like a... I remember the girls in high school or college were all doing Zumba. We're doing Zumba at 10 o'clock. It's like a dance, maybe like a hip-hop dance. T-Bone might be able to tighten this up for me. Like a hip-hop dance aerobics class. Go, You go do Zumba. Huh. Go into a Zumba class. It's a fitness program that involves cardio and Latin-inspired dance. Oh, no. I didn't let my girlfriend do that shit. What are you talking about? Definitely fucking that guy. I think it's girls. Some cool Cuban dude showing her how to show her moves. <laughs> While my fat ass is sitting at home eating my fucking eating your your kettle cooked your, chips, eating your speed chips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get out of here with that. No bueno. Zumba spin class was big. So I still don't understand what Zumba that is. Zumba spin. No, I said Zumba, but then I said he said Zumba spin class was big. Back in my day, spin class was big. Yeah, I mean, I think that's still quite. Very, very popular. That's a dance. No, spin is on a bike. See, that don't make no sense. Why? Bikes, wheels, spin. Oh, that's fucking stupid. That's why they call I'm it spin? I'm in there with my sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the sidecar, some jack dudes fucking battling. Let's go, Timmy. <laughs> Do you know my friend that lived in California? He moved here and had one of these. We were best friends. Okay. <laughs> um, that was always hit or miss when a new kid showed up in the neighborhood. Sure. That could really work out. I was never big on the new kid. Really? I, never, I, I wasn't mean or anything. I just go like. I was a new kid. Okay. Bastard. What, what's that mean? You're not coming over to my house. That's what it means. Yeah, please. That, that's, that's, the whole, that's the whole reason I'm avoiding you. Go over to your unpacked house. No were, thanks. Were you ever the kid that had to show the new kid around the school? Uh, no, I don't know if we had that. It's my locker. <laughs> <laughs> These are my snacks. Don't touch them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think we ever had to uh, do that. I don't think we had very many new, new kids, to be honest with you. I don't remember. That's a tough. That's a tough thing for a kid to do. I'll tell you that. I, I couldn't show imagine. up in the middle of the year. Ooh, that was. I went from a Catholic school to a uh, public school, fourth grade. <laughs> Ooh, brutal. And everybody knew each other since they were fucking babies. We thought I was a cop. Fucking, I come rolling in. But I had to show. I had to show um, a kid around in I think sixth or in seventh grade. Became one of my best friends. Great. Shout out! Shout out to Chuck Stewart, mm-hmm. boy Charlie. There you go. Show showing around the whole place. Get you out of class. You get yeah. to walk around a little. I bit. I could imagine you really giving like the, you know, this is. <laughs> I kind of run shit around. I got laid over yeah. there. I got <laughs> laid over there. Giving the fucking H Foley Lion tour. <laughs> <laughs> See that teacher, Miss Shy Boy, banged her a couple weeks <laughs> yeah, ago. <yeah. laughs> In reality, you're going through other kids' lunches. I was prom king last year, but they redacted it. <laughs> it's all political. <laughs> Everybody knew it was really me, though. You ever see Transformers? Yeah, I wrote that. Yeah, I date the cheerleaders. <laughs> oh, dirtball. 
Yeah, I don't. Uh, maybe I, I don't know. Yeah, no, no, I don't recall any of that. I don't. I honestly don't feel like we had that many new kids. We, there was a big school though. It was, it was always big schools, but I don't remember. Your school was too big. What'd yeah, you graduate? What'd you they graduate? They split with? it up. Uh, Fifteen hundred or no, something. No, they were all like uh, a th- they. It was originally like they were all like a thousand or eleven hundred, and then they Man, split. It's too many kids. They split, and I think I graduated with like five something. Hmm. Something like D. Yeah. A little something like D. Um. All right, this one's from Jafool. Is it garbage to grub hub a burrito to a wedding because you don't like the spread? Come on. <laughs> he said I saw it this weekend. What? That's. I would ask them to leave. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. If you got burritos for everybody, all right. Yeah, like an after party. Like, oh, I, I ordered fucking, uh, you know, 200 hours worth of Mexican food. It's coming. Yeah. That's one thing. But you can't. What kind of wedding is that? that I was doubt de- it's like a. That was def- definitely outside. There was a lot of khakis at that wedding. Sure. Yeah, I, I would. I don't think it would be. I just got a burrito. I don't think it was the classiest affairs, <sighs> if I had to guess. There was probably some denim. Not our guy. The guy who did it. That guy's a fucking loser. Oh, yeah. I kind of want to punch that guy in the fucking face. Okay. Get a fucking burrito Ooh. to a wedding. Then the bride's got to deal with that. Dave but brought it's also a like, burrito. It, they, they have, like, typically weddings. I mean, they have, like, the most generic Let me put it this way. It's like if you are got a, if you're chicken, ordering a, a potato. If you're ordering a fucking burrito at a wedding, whatever that wedding has is better than what you're eating on a regular basis. So act sure. like a fucking adult and go get a fucking piece of chicken. And shut the fuck up. Or hanger steak. Or, or eat something before. You made the choice. Or you got the go, card. Yeah, I don't. You got the card. What'd you pick? I'll be bringing my own. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nothing for me, Nothing thanks. Nothing for me, please. Uh, but it's also like, uh, this is coming from a very picky eater. Like, who like, and I'll go like, I'll just go, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. I'll just wait. I'll leave the wedding. If I'm that hungry, I'll leave the wedding an hour early and. Hit a chipotle or something. If you like a burrito, you, you like you, you can eat what something that they're serving there. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm just saying. But like, I get being somewhere or whatever and not liking the what's offered. I would never be like, oh, I'm going to order my own thing. I just go, no, I'm fine. You know, and you go home and eat and cry in your bedroom by yourself. Yeah, you know? like a gentleman. Hundred percent. Um. Hmm. Um. Uh. This one is same same vein. This one's from Tyler. Haven't had one read yet. Not much of a question, but when I'm in a pinch. Cash wise, mm-hmm. he says, which is often mm-hmm. the McDonald's and Taco Bell app comes in clutch. Sometimes you can catch a free 10 piece nugget with an order of one dollar or more. So you order the fries for like two bucks and mm-hmm. then you get a free 10 piece nuggy. So you get lunch or dinner. How are you pulling that? Who do you got to know for that? I guess it's in that. But if you purchase, I need mean, T-Bone shaking his head. I don't have any of the apps. What do you mean? I doubt you do either. It's no. The McDonald's app and the Taco Bell app. The McDonald's app kept me alive for Wait, like a year. Really? And a half. Yeah, did you not hear the question? I thought he meant like Uber Eats or Seamless. No, no, no. On the I app, didn't know they had their own platforms. Oh yeah, with their own special deals in there. Really? Oh yeah. Who delivers that? You pick it up yourself. Uh. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I don't care how cheap, how free the nuggies are. <laughs> Toby, I'm not walking anywhere, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, dude, the day that I that I realized that you could get the three or four nuggets, if you ordered four of them, it was like three bucks cheaper than a 10 Wait, piece. Wait, three nuggets? Yeah, three or four. It was four nuggets. For Wait, like you two mean bucks. four orders of nuggets? I would get four orders of four nuggets, and it would be like $4 uh, cheaper. I mean, you get 12 nuggets for like $4 cheaper than I a thought, regular attack. I thought you were ordering three nuggets, three actual nuggets. Which I think I, we were going to let you go at that point. If that's all you're eating. I thought something. you were that much of a dirt ball. Hey, let me get two nuggets and like a handful of fries. That's a tough look. What's the bare minimum of nuggets that you eat? I, uh, Twelve. No, they come in ten piece, don't they? Unless you finesse the app. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you got a guy on the inside. Fucking Snowden over here. That would have been a real dirt ball. Just three nuggets, dude. Uh, yeah, you got to, whatever the, the order is. I didn't know about all that. 
Yeah. And I think they want to keep you, they want you to order in there, so they fucking throw, they throw fucking high heat at you. They want you to order in the app. Yeah, they get your information, they can send you fucking push notifications. Sure, sure, They sure. got the email, they got all your information, seamless and grub app. Less people your... you got to talk to in there, less time in the store, get your food and get out, fatty. Yeah. Sure. Um, Everybody wants the information. Yeah, information. It's crazy. When you control the mail. Control. Information. Information. Also, by the way, this is a bit of a pivot. Uh-huh. But did you see that guy in the McDonald's in New York with the axe? What? <laughs> Man, there's this dude. He gets in a fight with like four guys. And is this recent? Yeah, it was like from like two nights last night or something. Okay. And these four dudes start punching this guy in the head. And at one point, literally while he's getting punched in the head by four dudes, he acts like this isn't bothering me. And he puts it. He goes, ah, I don't know. And they're all just punch him in the head. He's like, ah. And he goes, all right, you done? Yeah. And they're all like, yeah, all right, man. They're like, you're fucked up or something. <laughs> like, you're crazy. He just like takes his, he's got like the messenger bag on, takes it off and pulls out a fucking hatchet axe type fucking thing and starts going to town on this McDonald's dude. He smashes a table into pieces with one fuck. And that's when everybody goes, oh, fuck. <laughs> he, he starts smashing like the big glass panes they have and every, it's, it, it gets fucking dicey. But. Wild. That's what it reminded me. If you're in New York and you're going to a McDonald's at that at, in the middle of the night, never. You're fucking crazy. Now, sure the Barrows are a little different because it's a little more residential and stuff like that. But if you're going to like, dude, the one at West Fourth Street, <laughs> there would be fist fights down there every single Sanity. night. The bars let out, and then everybody's in there. It's yeah. all a lot of street people, a lot of drug addicts. And it's just fucking wacky. I would hit that Mickey D's in the morning when I was waiting tables over at the Bear Burger. I'd get off at the train there at West 4th Street, mm-hmm. roll in there. They had the a salad or something? No. No, I'd probably go with McMuffin. Okay. A couple of McMuffins, a couple of hash browns. Mm-hmm. Um, they had this one girl that was working there that was literally, she was a 10. She was 10 an, piece. an absolute 10. And I never had the courage, but I was going to be like, what the fuck are you doing working here? Mm-hmm. Good kid, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what were other options? I don't I always find that. I, I don't know how this is going to sound. I always find it crazy when like super, super attractive people are doing that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I s- sleep with somebody. Do something. Sure. You got to have a sugar mama, sugar daddy, something. It's also like you ever see like a really hot. Dude, construction worker. I'm like, you couldn't yeah. have fucking done a little bit of print work or like a fucking Coles ad and fucking got got some money together. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, a Coles ad's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm Kinda saying. Kind of Lee Jeans, not to get their hands on you. I know, just something. You like it's like these Jack Talk guys. I'm like, how? There's just more. We were talking there's about more th- opportunity provided to hot people. I want. I do it. I want. I want to be around hot people. People want to be around attractive people. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, if I'm sitting, if there, I'm doing it, of course that makes sense. That was like in the town. I never really believed that Ben Affleck worked at the fucking quarry. I'm like, you're too good looking to be fucking. He was real tight in that too. Yeah. Chiseled. Chiseled. We were talking about that. The what? Other, we were talking about that huh? the other day in the car. I think. Is that me and you? Yeah, uh-huh. some like just because somebody's like super super attractive and has like really good genes doesn't mean that they have that, you know, that they're like dirt balls like that. You know like what I mean? What? Not that they don't realize how attractive they are. They don't use it to their advantage because they're because they have good souls. They're good people. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Well, yeah. Okay. I guess. Yeah. They don't look at, they're so good looking, they've been good looking for so long that they don't look at, if it was you, you'd be using that, and, you know what I mean? If I just like turn good super, looking all of a sudden. You just turn good looking. I have ugly guy, per, I have, yeah, 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 yeah. I have ugly guy perspective. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah. You don't know what you got, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd become a whoo real yeah. quick. I'd be sleeping with every guy. Everybody. Guys, Let's girls, Let's go, the you. whole, the works. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't even know how we got there. Have Angelina Jolie in the sidecar. <laughs> I'm gonna see. You're a I lucky can... girl. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on that, dude. We gave it to my stepdad's nephew, I think. What are you gonna go take it back from him? Well, I mean, he's like 30 now. <laughs> <laughs> he's still riding it, in cir- riding it in circles around the cul-de-sac. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd be back. <laughs> 
Very good. Um, okay, let's see here. Um, this one's a little wacky. This is from Chad. Did you ever find sex photos of your hot aunt and uncle pre-internet, then went to Kinko's to copy them? What? That's what's that called? That's not Incest. beastie. And yeah, it might have been beastie. I didn't get a look at these broads. <laughs> Dad was a, his uncle was a cocker spaniel. He was a shepherd. <laughs> um, that's tough. But uh, listen, this is gonna have this. This, <laughs> this feels like we're violating attorney-client privilege. Yeah, sure. that was from Kevin Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you find, so photos of them. Who was taking the pictures? That's that's the other weird thing. Sure, oh, there's timers on that kind of stuff. I think on cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never got that. Was always a thing too. You would see in movies that my family would never do. <laughs> of like, set all right, set it the... up one, two. Then the dad runs. Who had the tripod? Dude, there's not a picture of my dad ever. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't one. There's one. There's one of like me, him, and my mom, and he don't look happy to be there. And he's sketching a heater in a suit. I think it was like my brother. I think it was like. Danny or Sarah's communion. You always ask somebody in the other family to take that picture of yeah. everybody. I, I, we never had a tripod. In the movies, they always had a tripod. They put on a tripod. They think, what? Never. A tripod? <laughs> never. No video Lucky we had spatulas. No, yeah, nothing. My Aunt Patty was always big on the pics, so everybody used to fucking break her stones for it. Uh, <laughs> Patty with the pill. Here comes Pat. Meanwhile, she was just trying to get, like, one picture of every. Like, it wasn't like... We were doing a photo. She was like, oh, let's get a picture of mm -hmm, Christmas. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, get out. I'm not in it. You go. Yeah, kids go. I'm not. Never, though. Yeah. Never, ever, ever. So but I guess back in the day, if you're a young buck and you don't, there's no internet. You don't have access. I don't know. I guess. Are, are, you, are you doing this guy's story? Is that what you're trying to figure this out? Yeah. I mean, I guess. It, but then who was, what's the guy at Kinko say? Well, hold on. I wonder how old this guy is. How long ago we he talked? He said pre-internet. Pre, oh, pre-internet. Yeah. So it's like. In the 90s. Yeah. It, late 80s, early 90s. Mm -hmm. Those guys back then. Did this, did it say Kinko's? He said, and then you run to Kinko's. Yeah, but those guys back then, sex picks, working at a photo place, sex picks, that was like a that was like a Christmas bonus. I told you, I worked at a one hour photo and I waited. I that's all I wanted to see. Yeah. That or a murder. Did you ever <laughs> And I almost, I got, I found pictures and I was like, what the fuck is this? Man, it really freaked me out. It was of a, like a crime scene. But then as they started developing more, I realized it was a film set. Like it was like a student teacher, but like, dude, I, or like a independent school film or something. Hot uh, dude, I had nine, I had Give nine. me the FBI. <laughs> oh, dude, I, had, I was about to crack the case, dude. I had the name. I fucking, I'm like, they'll be back in 15 minutes. I was ready to call them the fucking SWAT team. I had 9-1 dial just ready to fucking go. Did you ever find any sexy pics? No. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I don't know. No, no, was no. this in the grocery store? Yeah. They transferred you. What did you do that you got transferred over there? No, it was a primo. I was behind the counter. That was like, uh, that was one step up for being a CSR. What's a CSR? Customer service <laughs> representative? Yes, or CSM, customer service manager or something like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's that... really beating the girls away. <laughs> <laughs> one hour photo and a sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Yeah, it's a custom job. You girls want to see a picture of my aunt topless? <laughs> if you wait right over there for 15 minutes, I'll slip into my dark room and uh, be right with you. No, it wasn't done in a dark room. That's old school, Janice. Uh, yeah, that's pretty... I get it. You're nah, I don't get it. A no, tough I don't look. get it. I'm trying to put it together why you Your would do that. Your hot aunt and uncle. Hmm. It could be not his blood aunt. Or maybe she came in like a little later. You know what I mean? All right. Which is more gross? If the aunt is related to you or the uncle's related to you? I think the aunt because you're lusting after the aunt. Mm -hmm. Your uncle's just in there with her. I'm assuming the uncle's got a hug if you're taking pics. 
back in the day. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah, no itsy bitsy teeny weeny guy doing uh-uh, that. Uh, not me. You get your sketchbook out if you want, but that's about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I need some artistic, some artistic uh, um, interpretation license. license. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> um. Hmm. <laughs> do me a favor. Do my cock like one of those dolly clocks, will you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's ten. Keep it clean, huh? <laughs> Call it fair, will you? I don't want one. Of the, I don't want one of them courtroom guys either. They make everybody look like an asshole. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that. <laughs> Whoever does Garfield, get that guy doing it. <laughs> no, give me Clifford. <laughs> yeah, give me Clifford. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, this one's from Terry the Turd. Know <laughs> anyone that can make Kraft mac and cheese without straining? It took me a minute to get this. I had a roommate in college who could eyeball the exact amount of water needed till you never had to strain it. That's pretty good. So it would just boil. But any amount of water would do that once it just boiled away. Sure. I figured that out by accident one time because a strainer... When you're in college or in your early 20s and it's like a couple guys in an apartment, a strain, a clean strainer does not exist. No. You might have one, but there's somebody, you know, there's shit all in it. You typically, and I'll still do this. You go with the spoon or something or the lid even to fucking strain You're losing it some Mac with I, that. Dude, in my OCD, it killed the second I lose one, my heart breaks. Yeah. If I lose a new, I get so mad. Mm-hmm. It's just like a... A thing of my if, if we fucking is that, I think that's your fatness over your OCD. Could be, could Mangaroni, be. my carbs. But that makes it cheesier. Does if it goes in the sink, do you take it out and put? I've it back been in? known to do that. Oh, never. I've been known to do that. Sure. No, the floor not is with lava. spaghetti, but with macaroni. Yeah, or fusilli or rigatone. Did you hit the lotto or did you hit the daily number? You guys are you guys are banging fusilli. <laughs> we had some fusilli running around. We were big tortellini people, too. My mom still is. She likes, but in a soup, she makes tortellini soup, which is like chicken broth and little tortellinis. But they're all right. Okay. Pretty banging. A little bit of parm cheese on top. Where she get the torts? Uh, the, she, the pre-made Johns? Yeah, the pre-made Johns, the, either the frozen ones or, you know, they have like that fresh pasta at the, at the front yeah, of the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like that's, that's all smoke and mirrors. That stuff's awesome, and it ain't that expensive. Sure. Because nobody fucks with it. And back in the day, it wasn't at the end. It was it was like with the cheese, yeah, and the eggs. Still is sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nobody goes to, near it. We would that, that's we're ingrained to be like you don't even look at that. You don't. Even, I still to this day. Nah, it's Nadine good. Nadine was looking one time, and I was a like, little bit of chicken I'm broth. Like, whoa, whoa, hey, what's what's going on here? Yeah, but yeah, it's like three ninety nine or whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's all right. You a tortellini man? Love a tort. There you go. Love a tort. There you go. Love a tort. Um. All right, let's do one or two more here. Then we got to rip her up. This is from Mike Nish. Uh, is it garbage to go to the Mall of America on vacation? I. That's all I wanted to do as a kid. And Mighty Ducks, they were fu- They went fucking rollerblading through it. And it, was that Mighty Ducks too? I guess it's in Minnesota. Yeah, there's a comedy club in there. Yes. Were we there? No. Okay, but I was in Minnesota. Oh, we were flying. We were flying to Hawaii, and we asked the guy, like, "Hey, is there anything? We have a couple hours. Is there anything to do? He's like, you can go to the Mall of America." Which, how big is it? There's a roller coaster in there. I don't know. I remember hearing that as like an eight year old. You're like, "Yeah, what the fuck?" Yeah, I asked Mike, "Can we go?" Where I remember as a kid being like, "I wonder what that food court's like." Probably like it's probably f- four. Yeah, probably. Guess all right. how many square feet. Seven hundred. What's a rent? What your apartment's <laughs> bigger than that? I would hope. What's what's a regular mall? I, that's too much. That's too big for me. Eight million square feet. Yeah, it's got to be like square miles. Four point eight million square feet. Yeah. Wow. Ninety six point four acres. I don't understand what square feet are anyway. I don't get it. I did. Doesn't make sense to me. Is it like how many squares you could fit in it? Or is it if you added up everything, that's how big it is? That's all we have time for today, folks. <laughs> what? Do you know? Yeah. A square foot is one foot by one foot. One foot by one foot. Oh, Each man. side of the square is one foot. Okay. So all four sides are one foot. So that's how many of those you could fit in there. So, so let's you- just say this room is 10 feet by 10 feet. Mm-hmm. 
That would be 100 square feet. Okay. Oh, because oh, you could take, oh, oh, that's how you do you it. You could take 10. You could take 100 one foot. So you measure that wall and that wall. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's not every wall what? around and then add it up. Essentially, that's what you're doing, though. What do you mean? Oh, is it? Yeah, you're just multiplying it. Okay. Wait, what did you mean? Like you would measure from there to there. And then there to there, 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 and there to there, and then you would add that up. All right, that was four feet there, that was two feet, that was six feet, and eventually that would get you to whatever it is. No? Like, if you took this room and opened it up and it was in one straight line and it was 100 feet long, uh-huh. it would be 100 square feet. Yeah, but that would be the perimeter. You're talking about, like, the perimeter of it? Because th- this also accounts for the inside, this space that we're in here. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? So I add up from uh, from there to there and there to there, and I add that together, and that's the square footage. As long as that wall is and as long as that wall is. Two sides of the Multiply square. Multiply them, not add them. Multiply them. Oh, so if that's 10 feet and that's 5 feet, this place would be 50, 50 square, square feet. feet. Okay. Look at that. A learning program. Pretty good. You've like learned it, unlearned it, and then relearned it, <laughs> and then and then I I go I, and then I go I don't know what I'm talking about. You made me forget it. That's how dumb you are. You fucking, you're like the ooze. You just permeate. <laughs> he learned it, then unlearned it. That was pretty good. That yeah. T-bone McMuffin right there. Kid, kids throwing rocks. But let's wrap that. her up, gang. Gang, let me tell you this. We love yous. We love you. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the YouTube there, mm-hmm. okay? Get on the, get on iTunes there. Leave a nice review. Sure. Um, the live shows. Come see a live show. Rhode Island, we added a second show. In Boston, we added a late show. Get those tickets. Those tickets are live now. Get them before they're gone because they're going to go, I hope. Yeah, let's go. Let's sell, let's, let's sell all those shows out. Let's do this, let's man. Let's do it, baby. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.